These days, it seems everyone's on Snapchat. Everyone's on Facebook. Just about everyone is on Instagram. But sometimes, everyone isn't really anyone. Like when people say everyone's on the internet. In reality, in reality, more than half the world is still without internet access, according to a study by IT. However, there is one company that is actively trying to make everyone really one company that wants to change the world. That one company, of course, is Google. More specifically, Google X. Google X is a semi-secret research facility that, that runs a subsidiary of Google. X's main mission is to invent and launch moonshot technologies that aim to make the world a radically better place. Now, an article in Atlantic defines moonshot as the inter intersection of a big problem, a radical solution, breakthrough technology. Some of these movement shop projects include the Self-Driving Cars Project, an autonomous car driving company, Project WIN, a project that aims to eliminate traditional postal methods by using drones to deliver packages, and Project Loon, which I'll go over in depth later. In an article published in the New York Times, one ex-employee described working at Google X as secretive as working at the, at the CIA. Why? Google doesn't want its investors knowing that it's using their hard-earned hard money on products that 99% of the time end in failure. In an interview with Mail Online, Google X founder Astro Teller, or the captain of Moonshots, discussed the unique X approach to projects. At Google X, failure is king. Researchers constantly try to find reasons to kill off projects by, taking, by tackling the hardest parts first. Staff are celebrated and even rewarded when projects are killed off due to failure. One project that hasn't failed is Project Loon. As I mentioned earlier, Project Loon is a network of balloons traveling on the edge of space, designed to connect people in rural and remote areas, help fill coverage gaps, and bring people back online after natural disaster. AAP News mentions that Google X launches these balloons all over the world to provide internet access. Balloons are solar powered and float approximately 20 kilometers above Earth's surface in the stratosphere, well above airplanes, wildlife, and uh, weather effects. Now, how exactly does the technology work? So, Project Loon partnered with telecommunications companies like AT&T uh, in order to extend connectivity into rural and remote areas so that people everywhere can access the internet using a phone or another LTE-enabled device. Basically. While this internet signal is beamed up from the cell towers on the ground to the balloons, the signal is then relayed across the entire balloon network and then beamed back down to people who have phones or other LTE-enabled LTE devices. Now, each balloon has a coverage area of around 5,000 kilometers, and by moving with the wind, the balloons, the balloons can be arranged to provide coverage wherever it's needed. In the stratosphere, each layer of wind varies in speed and direction. To get balloons where they need to go, Project Balloon uses predictive algorithms and uh, dis predictive models of the wind and decision-making algorithms to move each balloon up or down uh, into a layer of wind that's going in the correct direction. Now, Project Balloon is still being tested before it can be rolled out on a large scale. Balloons only last for around 100 days up in the air. However, Project Balloon is currently being deployed to Puerto Rico, where Google hopes to help bring residents back online. The possibilities of balloon are even though today, one in three kids can't get to a real secondary school, Loom can make everyone have a secondary school come to them. In places where doctors aren't able, or in places where there aren't enough doctors, everyone could have doctors, could, everyone could be helped in doctors in other places. Farmers everywhere could start using better weather data so everyone can enjoy a bigger harvest. I will, uh, in place, farmers everywhere can start using better weather data so everyone can enjoy a bigger harvest. I believe in Google X, and I believe in Google X's ability to someday make everyone really mean. Do you have it noted on your outline for your, uh, to advance your slides?
Yeah, or not really. It's just like there's like red marks. Okay. You might want to like put a just make a bigger space. Yeah. Um, Come on. Okay. Um, Come on. Okay. Anything else?